One thing we're very proud of here at Brayburn Whiskey is our uh, the Brayburn Whiskey Portfolio Management Service, which obviously begins with uh, helping investors select the right cask that sort of fits in with their investment criteria. Having done that, their cask is then stored at the Brayburn um, warehouse facility, where clients are always able to come and visit us, and they get the opportunity to uh, to put their hands on their whiskey casks. In addition to that. They, we have our Errol Park Society and there are some fantastic benefits associated with being a member of the Errol Park Society. In addition to that, you have an advisor that will be with you for the lifetime of that investment. Um, one of the tools that we think is, uh, is pretty special and that something really assists investors with the management overall of their whisky assets is our online platform where the clients can log in, they have their private account, and they can effectively monitor the performance of their whiskey assets. We at Brayburn Whiskey will revalue those casts on an annual basis for them, and as I said, it gives the client the ability to just see exactly how their whiskey cask is performing. Um, in addition to that, we have, uh, as part of our platform, the Brayburn Reserve. Um, this is a pretty exclusive club, that our clients get access then to the sort of the, the, the special releases that uh, that we offer. Um, this is quite an exclusive thing. People will subscribe to that, and on a sort of weekly, daily, weekly basis, that's updated, and clients and investors can see their um, what casts are potentially available to them. And again, the platform's quite sophisticated. If they wish, if they prefer to sort of do it online as opposed to speak to, uh, to one of our team. There is the function there or the ability there for them to actually acquire a cask online. Um, one of the most important things obviously from an investor's perspective is the ability to monetize that investment in an effective way uh, and in a timely manner. And again, this is something at Brayburn Whiskey we've worked really hard on to facilitate for them. Um, using the online platform, if they wish to sort of uh, take advantage of uh, the sell button, if you will, um, our clients can basically instruct the team to put their cast back into the market. Um, and the process there is pretty straightforward. We manage an awful lot of casts of whiskey for investors and bottlers and private owners all around the world. Um, as you quite often hear, these are rare whiskey assets and there's a great demand for them. Um, and we work very hard to keep these assets under our management as these whiskies sort of reach this ripe old age, you know, sort of 20, 30, 40 year old cast. Um, so we will facilitate the sale. There's no need to go to another broker or go to auction or find a private buyer. You just let your private portfolio manager know that you want to put the cast back into the market and we will find another buyer for you. Um, there is, as you'd expect, a commission associated with that, but again, we're very transparent in the way we approach it, and it's usually sort of 10 to 15%, which is negotiated in a very transparent manner with both the seller and, and the buyer on the day. I think with Brayburn Whiskey, one of the key things that we, uh, we work very hard on is transparency, helping our clients understand the process and how the, uh, the investment works. I think one of the key concerns that a lot of investors have is ownership and autonomy over their cask. Um, so we talk our clients through that and we help them understand exactly how that process works. There's a, a lot of information out there obviously available to investors, but some of that information is quite antiquated. Um, we quite often get asked about DOs or delivery orders, for example. And um, this system is quite antiquated now. Um, that's primarily a system that, uh, that helps HMRC track individuals or entities that own whiskey casks primarily to generate revenue. This doesn't work very well for private cask owners, for example, uh, and with an increasing amount of private cask owners coming into the market now, we've worked really hard here at Brayburn Whiskey to give investors the peace of mind that they need to ensure that they have the autonomy over their cask and their asset is essentially safe. Um, one of the key concerns that we come across is um, that ownership and autonomy. Uh, whereas previously, if you owned a cask of whiskey, you would have to register on what's called the Wauga register. Um, and you would have 
a duty rep that's responsible for looking after your whiskey and keeping that whiskey under a bonded warehouse environment. Um, from a private investor's perspective or a private cask owner's perspective, there's some sort of relatively what you might describe as grey or sort of unclear information issued by HMRC that suggests that private individuals don't have to register on the Wauga and, uh, and can subs subsequently own casts. The number of casts that they can own is another grey area. Um, and going down that route, you can potentially expose yourself to action by HMRC because nobody's very clear on how many casts you can own and what is viewed as revenue generating activity within the industry. Um, and this also exposes the, the duty rep, the warehouse operators, to potential by action by HMRC. Um, and as a result of that, you'll find that a lot of duty reps, warehouse operators will no longer um, open accounts for private individuals because, as I said, they potentially expose themselves to action by HMRC if HMRC deem that individual um, as uh, somebody that's generating revenue from their whiskey activity. And the other concern is that uh, using this sort of antiquated approach means that uh, unless you are registered on the Wilder, unless you have a delivery order in your possession, that you might in some way not own that cask of whiskey or that whiskey asset, which isn't exactly the case. Um, the way that we have addressed that and the key sort of um, element of it from an investor's perspective is that the warehouse where their whiskey is stored, that duty rep knows exactly who owns that whiskey and that is obviously the, the private individual or investor. Um, and that's really one of the key things that we've worked very hard on to give investors the peace of mind that they require when making significant investments in whisky assets. Well, we do provide an awful lot of information to our investors and documentation to, to again, give them the peace of mind that they require. Um, initially, when you uh, acquire a cask of whisky from Braeburn Whisky, the first thing you'll receive is obviously a bill of sale, a purchase agreement, and that clearly sort of states that you are the owner of that cask of whiskey. In addition to that, we at Brayburn Whiskey will issue certificates from the company that again demonstrate or state that we are the, simply the custodian of your cask of whiskey, your whiskey asset, that you own that cask of whiskey. And I think probably the key thing that we do, which sort of sets us apart from some of the sort of whiskey brokers that you might come across in the market, is that our duty representative, the warehouse that we, that we work with, has the information on the ownership of the cask, i.e. when an individual that's invested through Braeburn Whiskey goes to that warehouse to look at their cask of whiskey, that warehouse operator will confirm that they are indeed the owner uh, and, for example, not Braeburn Whiskey or uh, the entity that has an account with them. Uh, and again, we provide third-party documentation that clearly demonstrates that provided by the duty rep and the warehouse operators. Well, one of the key strengths that we have here at Brayburn Whiskey is we're whiskey people. You know, we sort of, we bottle whiskey, we, we re-rack whiskies, we put whiskies in sort of exotic casks. Um, as I've stated, we, you know, we, we operate our own bonded warehouse facilities. Uh, we have a lot of sort of strings to our bow as opposed to just simply being whiskey cask brokers. Um, and as a result of that, you can be confident that the sort of, the advice that you're given by members of the team here at Brayburn Whiskey is, uh, is in depth, transparent and accurate. We understand whiskey, we work with the distilleries and um, we're in a position to be able to ensure that you've got the right sort of information. Again, transparency, we talk about pitfalls in whiskey investing, you know, potentially buying a cask without any understanding of what the potential is for that cask as an investment. And, and I refer back again to this, uh, this scenario where people are advised uh, on occasion to purchase a cask of whiskey and then they're subsequently passed off to a third party, i.e. the, uh, the duty represented or warehouse operator. Um, and this grey area exists. How many casks of whiskey are they allowed to own? Are they potentially exposing themselves to action from HMRC if HMRC believe that they're actually generating revenue from their whiskey cask ownership activity? You know, this is something that we work really hard on to have ensure that our clients aren't exposed to these sort of pitfalls and we ensure as whiskey people I think we're all well qualified to be able to give our clients good quality advice based on a sound and solid understanding of the market. That's fucking brilliant mate. Yeah. <laughs>